And today, I'm going to help you give a maid of honor speech that will actually get laughs. <laughs> when people give their maid of honor speech, they do so many things wrong. They read too fast, don't practice the speech beforehand, they don't memorize the speech, and they're reading off a paper. How am I going to laugh at you and your speech when you're reading off the paper? Or they use inside jokes that only them and the bride understand. How am I supposed to know that crazy inside joke that happened on spring break in Cancun? How am I supposed to know what's funny about the time that the bride and you went to dinner with your grandma and ordered pastrami? So here's how to make your maid of honor speech laugh out loud funny. <laughs> if you're not a naturally funny person, the best thing you can do is seek inspiration from other funny people. So watch some comedy routines or Google funny maid of honor speeches and see and listen to what other people are doing. But please don't steal their material because the last thing people want to hear in a maid of honor speech is what somebody else wrote or a cliche or a common joke that they've already laughed out a thousand times. And when you tell a joke in your speech, make sure you pause right after so that people have a chance to laugh. What do you call a bagel that flies? Drum roll for the answer. A plain bagel. Go ahead. Give me the laughs. Give me the laughs. Thanks for that joke, Dad. The other thing you can do is poke a little fun at the bride, and I'm not talking about ripping apart something that she's seriously going to care about. It's perfectly okay to make fun of her a little bit. Also remember to read it slowly, have a ton of confidence, and practice, 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 practice beforehand and read it to other people. If you don't have other people around, that's okay. Read your speech to a dog or a stuffed animal. That's all for this week. New video.